Frankie, that cocksucker owes me ten million quid. Well, don't ask me. Why don't you get in touch with Vinny the Madman Gigante? He might be able to solve things. He owes me a few favours. Yeah, well, if he's got any sense, he'd emigrate. Well, I'd leave the planet if I was in his shoes. Right, keep them all on the tools, right? And be a bit more discreet this time, Frankie. Not too many shooters. Remember what happened last time? Right. Keep in touch. Let me know of any more developments and I'll see you later. Hello, Hammerheads. Thanks for tuning in. Mm -mm. <coughs> Sunday, isn't it? We all know what that means. It's... Sunday song recommendation time, isn't it? And this week... Damn spiders. And this week... A song from 1976... Mm -hmm. From the album... Child in Time by the Ian Gillan Band. Yep. And in my opinion, just my opinion, this is a much better version than the Deep Purple one from 1970. Because the Deep Purple, child in time, right? Why on earth do they have to repeat the same verse identically? You've got a ma mammoth Richie Blackmore guitar solo, right? What separates the two verses. And then when the solo's over, it's like the song's coming back on all over again. You know what I mean? To me, this is how it should have been done. I mean, Ray Fennick on guitar. It's not Bernie Holland, like he says on YouTube. Like, on, I'll leave the link to this song, and if you look at his notes, why do people not do enough fucking research? They get all the facts wrong like that. He says it's Bernie Holland on guitar. Well, it's not. It's Ray Fennick. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I mean, I had two copies of this. I don't know why. I mean, I had two copies of a few albums, uh, videos and DVDs that I've ordered offline, online and that. I mean, I give another copy of this to one of my ex-girlfriends. I had two copies of The Raven by The Stranglers. I give one of them to a another ex-girlfriend and I also had two copies of Adolescent Sex by Japan so I give one of them to another ex-girlfriend anyway I forget about all that brilliant song this I mean Ian Gillen left Deep Purple in 1973 right he virtually turned his back on music he bought a recording studio <laughs> so he couldn't have turned his back on music that much and he'd become a businessman and that, you know, cut his hair off and he even financed a motorcycle racing team. But being in the mid-70s and the British bike industry just went bust, didn't it? So he was up shit creek, then he thought, I oh, know, I'll get a band together and we'll do an album. And then another album, then another, then another. I mean, this is quite a boring album, you know? Except for the title track. In fact, <clears throat> their first few albums were quite bland and boring. You know, I've got Scarabus, I've got Clear Air Turbulence, and they're just as boring as this one. It's not until he dropped the Ian Gillen band and just became Gillen that his music really started to kick you in the arse. You know what I mean? Classics like... Um, Mr. Universe and Glory Road and, you know, brilliant albums like that. And then um, I'll leave the link down below, as ever, to this song. And um, wrap your ears around this, because it's very good indeed. Better than the Deep Purple version. Feel free to disagree, hamheads. Now, if you'll excuse me... I have some very important business to attend to, so 
I shall bid you goodbye, Hammerheads. Oi, mate! I'm trying to get some fucking sleep, you bastard!